so I've got this super problematic prop. Uh, you can almost see me in it. Hi, it's me. Um, so I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I want to show up something related to uh, radians, and um, I'll probably do it on the smaller one um, first because the first one's the better prop. Okay, so how big is that? I think most of you would be able to estimate that that is roughly, it's less than 90, maybe 60, 70 degrees. Um, but is there another way we can measure it? And yes, there is. There's something called radians. And the idea behind radians is uh, I basically cut a piece of paper that's roughly a diameter wide, and I can wrap this thing around it uh, one, I'm doing this really roughly, two, three, there's a little bit left over, and most of you probably know that, oh yeah, that's pi. 3.14 is how many times a diameter will wrap around uh, a circumference. Um, that's the relationship, is 3.14 of these, and that's an approximation, or 22 sevenths, um, or whatever you'd like to use for your version of pi. Um, now, uh, that's a radius. I'm going to turn this, I'm sorry, a diameter. I'm going to turn this into a radius. I'm going to chop it in half, so whatever this amount is, I'm going to chop it in half, and then how many times will this wrap around? Well, it'll wrap around one, two, three, four, five, six, and a little bit more, which is what we'd expect, because it's half. Before, it was three times around. Now, it should be about six times around with a little bit left over. So, basically, a radius will wrap around a circle uh, six times, or 6.28, depending on how you're rounding. Um, well, we can convert that into something that is called a radian, and the idea is this angle can be expressed in, well, if I'm wrapping a radius around the circle, how many wraps is that, or how many lengths of that is? And you'll notice that this one right here is really close to one. It's not quite. It's like uh, one radius and a little bit more. So maybe 1.2, no, 1.1 maybe even, maybe less, 1.05 radiuses. Um, so we call that a radian. I was like, well, that doesn't seem consistent. And just to the, the actual measure here, uh, was 60 degrees. So now I'm going to go to my larger, more problematic one. Uh, and this is, i got to figure out the angle so it's not completely destroyed here. So this also is 60 degrees. And um, it's a little hard to tell because it's super shiny. And I also cut out a diameter for this thing. And I'm going to, it will wrap around three times, but now I'm going to chop it in half and turn it into a radius. And what's interesting is that 60 degree angle on the larger circle, when I measure out the edge here, if you can see this from here to there around the edge, that last little piece, tiny bit left over. So that, oops, you can't see it. Tiny bit left over. So that same radius for the larger circle, 60 degrees, is like 1.1 radiuses. And we don't call them radius, radiuses, we don't call them radii. When we're talking about degrees, we talk about this angle in radians. In the same way we can say it's 60 degrees, we can say, well, for any size circle, no matter it was a smaller circle or a bigger circle, it's going to be basically 1.1 uh, radiuses, and, or radians, sorry, radians. So our term is radians, and it's just a different way to talk about, well, how much of a circle am I talking about? I could say, well, 60 degrees out of 360 degrees, that 360 is somewhat arbitrary. Um, instead, we can say, well, it's, you know, um, one out of six potential radians around the circle. And I'm going to use six, even though it's really like 6.28. In fact, they're a little more precise than that. So let's actually kind of use that. Let's talk about this a little bit more. So you've got this worksheet here. And the first part is just talking about, you know, how many radians is this thing? So we know that from here all the way around, it is basically six radians, or actually 6.28 radians, or 2 pi radians. Now, however you want to talk about it. That's how many radians for a circle of this size. That's how many uh, radi radii, or radiuses, depending on how you would wrap all the way around the circle. So when you're estimating this thing, you're like, oh, well, there's probably one about 60 degrees, and another one 120. And then so, oh, and in fact, we know there's pi radians all the way to the semicircle. So this is going to be a little bit less than 3.14. So in fact, this is probably you know, three radians, something really close. 
So that's what it's looking for there. That's just me estimating, because I know there's got to be six radians all the way around, or a little bit more than six, 6.28. And we're estimating. So we can even use six if we want to. We're being very uh, rough about it. Um, okay. Um, so in the next part, uh, you are supposed to estimate the value of each angle theta in radians to one decimal place. So over here, you're supposed to be a little more like you're not just going to say it's two because that's a little bit less than two. So you're going to have to estimate it, and it's, it's a guess. It's just seeing if you're a good job estimating. Okay, so then we actually, maybe we want to convert. So the question is, you know, how big is that angle? Well, um, we know that about three diameters for any will go around any circle, or about six radii or radian radiuses will go around any circle, or exactly two pi radii will go around any circle. And if we're going to actually measure the angle, we can call it, you know, radians. And we also have another measure that we use, which is 360 degrees. My degree measure doesn't look too around any circle. So we can convert, create a conversion between radians and 360. These, these have a relationship. So 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. So once again, for 360 degrees around a circle, I could also express that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 radians plus a little bit more. That's the 2 pi radians around the circle. Um, so there's 360 degrees per 2 pi radians, which I could write as 360 degrees for 2 pi radians, or I could flip it over. I can say there are 2 pi radians for every 360 degrees. I like using this unit conversion to do these problems. There are other ways to do it, but this is the way I like to think about it, because I know if my units cancel, this all works. Okay? So if I'm trying to go from degrees to radians, one possible way to do this is to say, well, 60 degrees... My unit conversion is I'm trying to cancel degrees, so I know there are 360 degrees in 2 pi radians. So I can just cancel. I can say, well, degrees cancel degrees. Here I can divide or I can cancel. Canceling is easier, 60 and 360. That cancels to 1 and that cancels to 6. And so I'm left with 2 over 6 pi radians, or basically... Um, pi over 3 radians. Usually we leave it that way. If we wanted to use 3.14 over 3, you know, it'd be 1 point something, but usually if there's a pi in our conversion, we'll, and, and our answer is in radians, we'll leave it as radians, uh, as pi in there. Okay, let's do it in reverse. 2 pi radians. Now, I should already have an idea of what that is. 2 pi radians would be, the radius is this big, I'm going to go 1 radian, I'm going to go uh, two radians, it's going to be out here somewhere. So I already have an estimate, you know, it's going to be maybe 100 degrees. So I'm going to do the same thing in reverse. So two radians, I'm trying to cancel radians and get to degrees, so I'm going to use my unit conversion, and uh, I'm going to put radians in the bottom, and so there are two pi radians in 360 degrees. Okay? So what cancels there is radians and radians, uh, my twos will cancel, and I got 360 over pi. Now, this is in degrees. I'm typically not going to leave this as 360 over pi. I'm probably going to convert this to 3.14, or if I'm being really lazy, I might just say it's 3. So this is, it's not 120 degrees. If I divide by 3.14, it's going to make it a little bit less than 120 degrees. So it's approximately 120, or I'm, gonna, I'm just going to guess 1. Okay, uh, I had an alarm went off, and why is this not focused? There we go. Um, so I got kind of got I got just a couple more things. A lot of times when we do these conversions, rather than two pi over three sixty, there's some reduction can go there. So sometimes we will use pi over one eighty, which makes sense. All the way around the circle is two pi over three sixty. Halfway around the circle is pi over one eighty. We can do it the same way over there. So we may want to use pi over one eighty or one eighty over pi when we're converting. Uh, just a couple more examples from the worksheet so you can kind of see this. I'm not going to do the ones that you've got because you don't have a ton of examples. Once again, I'm converting 200 degrees from uh, uh, into radians. So I'm going from degrees to radians. So I'm like, well, I want to cancel out the degrees. And I know it's going to be 2 pi. Or I could do pi over 180. 
Uh, and there's lots of canceling that can go on here. In fact, I probably should have started with pi over 180. That would have been easier. That's why we do that. And then there's some canceling. I can do 200 divided by 180, but if I can cancel stuff, I should. Like, these both divide by 10, so it's 20 over 18. And those both divide by 2, so it's 10 over 9. And I've still got a pi in there. So the actual answer here is 10 pi over 9 uh, radians. Okay? It's a little small, but that's what it is. 10 pi over 9 radians. Typically, if we're going to radians, we leave pi in the answer. Okay, going in the other direction. Um, 2 pi, 3 over radians. Looks a lot like that answer there. So I'm going to convert 2 pi radians into degrees. So the same thing. It is radians. I am trying to get rid of the radians, so I'm going to put that in the bottom. I know that pi radians is 180 degrees, using that better simple error uh, conversion rate. My radians will cancel. I know I'm going to end up with degrees. I know I set all this up right. Look what else cancels. Boom, boom, pi cancels. Uh, and then 3 and the 180, both those divide by 3. That's 1. That's 60. And I'm like, oh, that's 120 degrees. Okay? So 2 pi thirds uh, is 120 degrees, which makes sense. Uh, because it's, uh, it's two-thirds of pi, and pi we know is 180, and two-thirds of 180 is 120, so that kind of makes sense. I kind of got off the screen here. It was 120, okay? A lot of stuff going on there. There are multiple ways to do it. Make sure, reason it out, and make sure the answer uh, passes your reasonability test of how big you know a degree is and how big you know a radian is and how they are related together. Ciao.